Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at communicating from the Horner XL4 all-in-one controller to the Solo process temperature controller. Um, and we're going to be using Modbus RTU as the protocol to communicate serially on RS-485. So what we're going to do is, first of all, there's three steps involved. And the first step is to do our wiring of our system. So here I have my solo and we have a thermocouple and we have a communication cable connected to it. And uh, we also have, what I've done is on the corner, there is a patch cord. It's a RJ45 and we use two pins, pin number one and two off of the back here there's one and two and that will communicate to our unit that plugs right into the side so if we call up our um, manual you will see that this is the port the RJ45 port and what we'll be using is um, pin number one and two which is our transmit receive on our RS45 uh, communication there's also on that same RS-45, there's some strip switch settings with, which corresponds to the termination if you need it on or off. In our case here, because we're so such a short distance between the two units, we don't use that at all. So the next thing to do is then to set up the, uh, the solo. And on the solo, if we look at the wiring diagram, pin number one and two correspond to the one and two on the back end of the unit itself and then we have our, our thermocouple sensor input and we have our power so they're the basic connections that we have for our solo in order to communicate that's the first step so once we have the wiring done then we can use the settings and what we do is turn to the settings in the solo so what we have to do is ensure that we have Modbus protocol set and that we um, have the corresponding information so let's just take a look at that and on the solo if we hit and hold set we will actually come up with the parameters and what we want to do is go to the first setting which is this one here this has to be displayed as on that enables us to communicate to the solo through the communication port. Then we have the setting for RTU for Modbus. Then we have unit number one that we want to communicate to. We have 9600 baud, that's the rate at which it communicates back and forth. We have the length is eight. We have even parity and we have one stop bit. So that is all the settings that we need to do for the solo. So we'll put that back in run mode. We're running right now. And now we have to look at the settings within the Horner uh, PLC itself. So we'll just minimize those. And you'll notice here, this is my entire ladder, which really isn't a ladder. So in order to uh, configure those serial ports, if we go up to the controller and we had hardware configuration, or we can go to under the project navigator into hardware configuration. Either way, will get us into this screen here which shows us our communication ports. And this configures all of our hardware within our system. So we want to go down to serial ports here and we'll hit configure. And we it's the MJ2 as you saw in the wiring diagram that we have. And the first thing we have want to do is we want to select the Modbus master because um, this is actually the, the communication protocol. So every, all the instructions are going to come from our Horner into the solo and back again. So Modbus Master, then we then we hit Network, and under here, this is the settings that we use, the same as what we just set for the solo. So 9600, even 81, and then there's some other timeouts and some. Uh, we gotta make sure that protocol is Modbus RTU, and our update time, and then we have a status register. The status register. It's R4000. It gives us our Modbus status. 
And if we refer to the help menu, um, what it will actually show you is the first two registers give you a, um, uh, or sorry, the first, first register actually gives you the uh, milliseconds that the last scan time when you're updating is. Then you have a no response count for the next two. And then you have corrupt response count and a valid response count. So these are automatically updated from that one setting that we just set, which was the R4000. So we'll hit OK. Then we have devices. So under our devices, we'll just uh, uh, configure that one. But if we didn't, we just add add. And what it does is we can actually assign a name to this as well as our slave address. Now we just set the solo for one, which is unit number one. And what we do is uh, we could have up to 32 of these units on the same system. Our device type, we're using uh, Modicon um, DLC five digit addressing. And that's what, uh, that's what this uh, solo will accept. So we'll just hit OK. And finally, and we'll hit OK on that one. And then we have our scan list. Now our scan list tells us exactly what we want to scan within the solo unit and bring back. In our case here, what we want to scan is the process value or the present value, um, which is this one up here, and the set value, and we want to control that set value here. So if I look at my, um, refer back to the manual, and we look at the um, go scroll down you can see here that my modbus address for my uh, my process value is going to be 47097 or 44097 and my set value uh, which is a read and write which is 44098 so there are my addresses i'm looking for so looking on this one this is going to be my present value and we'll just go into the configure here. So you can see Solo 1 is our device. We look at 44097, which was exactly that same address. It's one word in length, so 16 bits. The address that we're going to read it to into our local uh, unit here, or the XL4, is R4500. And it's a pulled read, so that means that we're going to read it all the time here. Then the next one, we'll look at the configuration of it. It's a solo one again, same unit. This time here, our register address is 4498, 44098, which is our read write. And it's one word length as well. And it goes to register 4501. It's a pulled read and write. So that's, so we said okay. So now that's our communication that we are actually um, going to be using when we communicate to this solo. And then what we've also done, and we'll get out of all that, is we've now um, set up a screen. So we go to the next screen here. You'll see that I have my, I've set two parameters. The first one being my present value and my next one being my set value. And as you can see, um, the set value and present values are actually reading currently right now because I'm in run mode in my controller and they are updating. So if we look at those uh, the status symbols, there's my uh, process value coming in at 4500 at, at 23 degrees C and my set value is 22 degrees C. And then I have my status indication. So here's my status, which says that we have a current scan time of, of uh, 60 milliseconds communication between the two currently right now. So if I hold the thermal cup a little bit, you will see that the temperature will rise and the response rate is pretty good. And the other thing I can do is I can actually set the uh, uh, a value on here we'll set it to 25 we'll hit enter and now the solo is now set to 25 
So all the links and downloads can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. And if you can, if you like this video and would like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people find this information on YouTube. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. You will then be notified every time we publish new content to the site. You will also get free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing, if you want to help us out, is tell a friend or colleague about the site. Thanks for watching.